Hi, curious people. Maudia Yunda here. Welcome again in my book list, di mana aku sharing kisi-kisi menarik dari buku-buku yang aku baca. Dan dari semua isi buku itu, aku akan sharing tiga. Oke. Okay. Hello everyone, welcome to the uh, Mauji Ayunda uh, YouTube channel. Um, welcome again in her on her um, book list. Um, here she wants to sharing about the uh, about the interesting interesting from book that she was read. So, um, from this book, she wants to share three insights. Tiga insights yang personally menarik banget buat aku. Hari ini kita akan membedah buku The Originals by Adam Grant. Um, this book, uh, personally, um, very interesting for her. Um. Today, um, she wants to dissect a book untitled The Original by Adam Grant. Adam Grant adalah seorang psikolog dan penulis Amerika yang saat ini menjadi profesor di Wharton School of UPenn and he specializes in organizational psychology. So, so um, Adam Grant is a psychologist and also an um, American writer. Um, now he is he's to be a professor uh, in in Wharton School of the University of University of Pennsylvania. super cool person dan di buku ini dia menggunakan banyak riset kisah nyata pokoknya contoh-contoh gitu ya menjelaskan kenapa sih successful innovators or originals bisa berhasil ataupun gagal And um so in this book um he use reset um real story and um and the example why Successful innovator or original can be success or um, unsuccess. And I learned so much from this book. I learned how to think originally. Aku belajar gimana secara meningkatkan potensi aku sebagai a successful innovator. It um. So um. Maudi has Maudi learn how to um increase her potency that can help her um, to be the successful innovator. Insight pertama, procrastination is not a bad thing. Menunda itu belum tentu buruk ternyata. Um, so the first thing is the is procrastinator is not a bad thing. Um, A postpone is not um, a bad thing. Dan ini tuh sebenarnya lumayan mengagetkan ya, karena kan kita sering banget dikasih tahu kalau menunda itu, pokoknya jangan deh, it's such a bad thing. And we have to do things then and there. We have to do things now. Ditambah, um, uh, it's a little bit surprise case. We also um people all. Always give us um uh, that people people also inform us that um uh postpone is such bad thing um we have to do the things right now. Tambah lagi hampir setiap buku self help yang aku baca itu selalu bilang orang orang sukses itu nggak pernah menunda. Tapi ternyata di buku ini ada banyak momen-momen jenius yang berasal dari penundaan. Um, almost all book by about self help that she was with. Um, the content tell that a success person never 
postponed. But in this book, um, um, there are there are there is a genius moment from postponed. So for example, kata-kata I have a dream karya Martin Luther King itu sebenarnya hasil improvisasi. Dan alasan kenapa sih bisa improvisasi? Itu ternyata karena Martin Luther King was not that ready. Baru mulai nulis pidatonya malam sebelumnya. Dan um, uh, for example, uh, words that word I have a dream by um, Martin Luther King. It uh, it's um um improvisation result, and the reason why is he was not ready. He just um write speech. It uh, at the speech last night. Last night. Dan karena itu justru Martin Luther King lebih terbuka untuk ide-ide baru. So, menurut Adam Grant, improvisasi itu menunjukkan bahwa penundaan kadang-kadang justru memberikan ruang bagi otak manusia untuk mengembangkan ide-ide lain yang cemerlang. Um, uh, because of that, he... Uh, he felt more open-minded about the new idea. So, um, based on Adam Grant, postpone um, sometimes bring our brains to the new, to the new uh new idea that is so amazing. Karena kita justru lebih terbuka gitu dengan ide-ide baru yang bermunculan mungkin lebih secara spontan. So, implikasinya mungkin kita harus memanfaatkan penundaan sebagai strategi pada saat kita nyari ide. Di... Um, so, because the spontaneous, uh, that make our, uh, our brain more open for the new, new ideas, that is so amazing. So, the implication that can we... Uh, we use from postpone is as the strategy for us to um to find idea situ kita bertahap ya berjalan sambil membuka otak kita kepada ide-ide baru another example adalah Leonardo da Vinci So um we are all stages um with made our brain um uh, more open it for the for the largest idea. Um another example is uh Leonardo da Vinci, a pro procrastinator person. Uh, yang punya adalah sosok ya. Lumayan suka menunda. Jadi lukisan Mona Lisa itu memerlukan waktu 16 tahun untuk akhirnya selesai. Dan in that time, Da Vinci itu bereksperimen dengan ilusi optik dan teknis melukis lainnya. Dan karena bereksperimen, ia kembali ke Mona Lisa dengan pola pikir dan ide baru yang berbeda. Dan hasil... So, um, as you know, uh, Mona Lisa uh, need time around 16 years to finish. So um at that time Da Vinci uh is doing an experiment with optic illusion and uh, other painting a technique and pack with the uh bon with that painting with um another idea and uh for the result hasilnya as you all know. Insight nomor dua yang gak kalah mengagetkan, quantity of ideas is important. Jumlah ide itu penting. Um, and the result as you all know. So the second um, 
insight is quantity of ideas is important. Um, based on Adam Grant, uh, more uh, the idea that made can um, can increase uh, the quality of our ideas. Menurut Adam Grant, semakin banyak ide yang kita produksi, semakin besar kemungkinan untuk meningkatkan kualitas ide kita. And that's interesting, karena banyak banget orang yang bilang quality over quantity. Tapi menariknya dalam hal ide, kuantitas dan kualitas itu sama pentingnya. Um, so, uh, based on Adam Grant, more than you made... Uh, idea that can increase the quality of our idea the interesting in this um in this case quality and quantity is same important uh, supported by the research that um that um that uh research individual creative not always have a good idea better idea but um have more idea uh um more be spending another idea Hal ini didukung oleh penelitian dari psikolog yang menemukan bahwa individu-individu nih yang kita anggap kreatif atau inovatif umumnya nggak selalu menghasilkan ide yang lebih baik, tapi mereka menghasilkan lebih banyak ide daripada yang lain. Uh, supported with uh, research um, that is um, creative individu uh, not always have uh, better ideas than the but they um have a, um another idea so interesting right karena mereka punya banyak sekali ide maka kemungkinannya lebih tinggi untuk mereka mengembangkan ide-ide yang brilian ada contoh nih dari buku Pablo Picasso Picasso kan terkenal dengan beberapa karya seni ya tapi nggak banyak yang tahu kalau portfolionya tuh sebenarnya ribuan patung lukisan gambar puluhan ribu gitu um case um have a, a lot of idea um maybe it can help to um to increase um, the more brilliant idea. And there is an example from the book that is of Pablo Picasso. He um very famous because of his art, but um not 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 really not um not people not not some people don't know that his he has uh, many portfolio like um uh, like building or or the uh, painting or the drawing Jadi banyaknya karya-karya Picasso itu akhirnya melahirkan beberapa ide-ide berkualitas yang mendorongnya ke kesuksesan. Berarti nih, sebaiknya kita jangan hanya berfokus pada beberapa ide berkualitas aja. Malah kita harus menghasilkan ide sebanyak mungkin. Menurut Adam Grant, kita harus memberi waktu bagi ide-ide untuk datang juga. Uh, uh, with a lot of uh, idea with a lot of uh, like uh, her, his art that is a return some this burn some um the qualities idea 
Um, so we can we don't we cannot just we cannot just focus on the the um qualities idea, but also we have to um made a lot of idea that can help give us um time um for the another idea to come. Oleh karena itu, kita jangan mudah menolak ide atau memaksakan ide apapun juga. We have to stay open so that we can produce as many ideas as possible. Inside um because of that, uh, we don't um uh, we don't refuse um any other any other ideas. Slide ketiga and one of my favorites Mencoba bidang baru itu penting. Ada satu studi besar yang dibahas di bukunya, di mana mereka membandingkan para ilmuwan pemenang Nobel Prize dengan rekan-rekan mereka yang berprestasi juga tapi nggak memenangkan Nobel Prize. So uh, the third insight in insight is um, try new important um. Important, uh, how can I say? Uh, important build, not not build. Important things. New important things. Um, there are, there is a research um about uh comfort 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 uh comfort oh comfort. Um, uh, the scientists that um, uh, get no pal, get no pal with their friends, but also um have a good have a good brain like them. But um, they don't uh get win on that. Jadi studi ini tuh trying to identify apa aja sih skills atau personality yang membedakan para pemenang Nobel Prize ini. Dan apa aja yang membuat karya mereka itu bisa ke next level. So um, this uh, research um, identify what skills or personality that made them different from the uh, Nobel winner and what what um what oh uh, what the their innovation in innovation innovation made the next level awalnya aku nih langsung berasumsi ini pasti karena mereka lebih rajin kerja lebih keras atau lebih sering menghabiskan waktu di lab gitu kan tapi ternyata sebaliknya and this is so shocking mereka menemukan bahwa itu tidak terjadi sama sekali but actually yang membedakan adalah kecenderungan para ilmuwan untuk mencoba bidang-bidang lain um, at the uh, at first I assume that the Nobel winner have more, more hard worker have more work hard worker, but the the truth is, uh, no, and this is so shocking that uh make their different is um the scientists on have a. Uh, have trying the new uh new new uh new new building jadi pemenang hadiah nobel biasanya terlibat dalam musik seni kerajinan nulis atau some theatrical arts and this is super interesting it's super unexpected Dan walaupun kita tetap harus careful, correlation doesn't always equal causation. 
Tapi paling enggak kita bisa mikir orang yang memiliki minat yang bervariasi mungkin bisa melihat dari sudut yang berbeda. Dan ide ini... Um, uh, um, usually the Nobel winner um, always um, to be in uh, music, art, um, craft, writing, and practical arts. Um, this is super interesting and unexpected. Even though, um, even though, we um we also have to careful, careful with the correlation that is doesn't always equal cohen co cohesion. Ide atau inovasi-inovasi dari bidang tersebut itu bisa mereka bawa juga ke karya mereka yang sedang mereka jalani sekarang. And now, so what? How do we put the book into action? So that all of that bring them to new uh, variation that can't bring their bring to their um their innovation that is they doing now so um how do we put the book into action hmm menurut aku insight yang pertama yang soal penundaan itu agak tricky ya karena nggak semua hal di dunia ini tuh bisa kita tunda there are that uh, So, uh, based on her opinion, um, the postpone are a little bit tricky. In this world, sometimes um, there is a deadline. Deadlines in life. Tapi mungkin untuk project-project kreatif atau hal-hal yang more idea based mungkin akan aku beri ruang lebih banyak gitu ya dengan um, uh, maybe for the creative project uh, tadi supaya bisa semakin matang. Um, um, maybe for the uh, idea the creative project or something else or something else um you we can use a more idea to may to give them a place that is more there is a lot of postponed and finally i just want to say that i really appreciate this book karena benar-benar membuat aku bertanya tentang asumsi-asumsi aku yang lama dan aku paling suka kalau misalnya ada something that challenges the way that I think because then I know that I'm growing. Um, so I pray I really appreciate this book um, that made I more assumed. Um, I I prefer uh, that something that challenge the way that I think because then she knows. So anyways, thanks for listening. Curious people, if you want me to read a book and share with you my favorite insights, kasih book recommendations di komen di bawah. I definitely read them. Dan jangan lupa untuk subscribe and turn on notifications to make sure that you don't miss any of my videos.